and this is my first exhibition that I am doing in Bangalore. Uh, this is a thematic exhibition that I am organizing, uh, which traces the history of modern co contemporary art since 1911, since the First World War. Uh, at the time of First World War, there had been, uh, had been seismic changes in the art world, and we see the production of certain kinds of artwork which uh, were very irreverent. So one of the most iconic artworks was uh, the work of uh, Marshal Dusha. Marshal Dusha uh, had uh, planted a, a simple uh, urinal pot into the uh, exhibition gallery and uh, called it art. At that time people uh, accepted that as a piece of art because the whole uh, European society was uh, disturbed by the First World War and uh, there was um, People were finding that the old uncertainties were no longer relevant, were getting uh, distorted and that is the reason why that kind of art became uh, popular. Irreverence however in course of time became the mainstay in contemporary art and I think that uh, after 100 years there is time, um, we have come to a situation now where we should not think of irreverence as the only uh, uh, feature uh, that should be there in the art. Art should also be inclusive. So this exhibition is all about making art more inclusive. I believe that artwork should be such which can be understood by people very easily uh, so that people don't go away from galleries. That is the reason why we are doing the show. This show is not just about, uh, this is not just an exhibition. We are also organizing a seven day uh, cultural event in which people from various fields are coming to talk about art. Uh, people from the fields of uh, fashion, from uh, visual art, from films, uh, from literature, from music, from theatre. They would also be coming uh, together to speak on various, uh, I mean, for, about inclusiveness in art. Uh, I'm delighted to talk about Deva Jyoti Ray's uh, paintings. They are very colourful, there's a lot of vibrancy in the painting and uh, an interesting aspect of each of the painting is that they tell a certain story and it also leaves much to the imagination of the viewer because each painting lends a certain perspective but it's not very clear what exactly the painter had in mind. So in that sense, the paint, uh, viewer forms his own perspective. Um, and, and these are all like daily, um, the paintings reflect day-to-day -day life, um, like you know, a child uh, being uh, taken away by the father when the mother is going to work and uh, the child is literally crying and telling the mother uh, don't go to work. So that's a clear example of you know uh, something that happens in everyday life. Um, then there were some other paintings that I have seen of, uh, you know, there was another one which I saw of a lady driving a car, lighting a cigarette, um, yeah, and it was called irreverence, which um, is a dangerous trend, uh, yeah, you know, in a busy city, you're smoking and driving. So in certain paintings, there is a message that the painter is trying to give. Um, you know, um, it could be basically talking about safety and, you know, also telling what things are happening around us in our day-to-day -day, uh, life. Uh, this is, uh, this particular painting has no um, any uh, caption, but uh, yeah, it, it's very, uh, as I said earlier, this was the child basically crying and telling the mother not to go to work. Um, this is a Freedom Cafe, which is another interesting piece. Um, in the rain, you know, there's this couple with a goat um, or a sheep, I can't tell. But, um, you know, it's again walking in the rain. Um, another one here is um, Ria's tool. He's got, I think, a musical instrument in his hand um, and he's singing. Um, there's, you know, the painter has brought life into this guy, these certain paintings where, you know, uh, it looks very lively to me. Um, the other point uh, I'd like to make about the paintings is, these are really huge paintings. Um, the dimensions are, 
like 40 by 50, 50 by 60, um, and it must have taken a lot of time to uh, work on these kind of paintings. And acrylic on canvas is not a very easy medium. It is uh, very time consuming and it is very demanding. Uh, in that sense, uh, I think you've got to congratulate the painter for the dedication in his work. Um, so, uh, most of my uh, paintings are figurative, as you can see, most of the paintings are figurative artworks. In this exhibition, I have chosen uh, artworks which are uh, mostly having uh, themes about uh, themes from India. So most of the people that you can see around are people from India. Uh, India is a land of colors. You see all our festivals, Diwali, Holi or any festival, we are we live in a land of colors. If you see abroad, in European society, if you go for marriage, it is uh, mostly in black and white. Okay, the bride, groom, bride would be mostly in white and the groom would be mostly in black and the guests will also be in black and white and the, most of the decor will be in pastel colors. But if you go to Indian uh, exhibition, I mean Indian festivals or Indian uh, uh, marriages and all, you will see a lot of colors. So uh, I think that is uh, one of the reasons why I try to put colors in my paintings and it's normally, that is my goal.